here is my air filter usually they are stock and they don't look like this but because it's an open cone I've got to remove it once the cone has been taken off I have then got to block up this tube to prevent any water getting inside And it's time to pull off the engine cover. This bit here I'm showing you the alternator which I am going to cover up with a plastic bag to prevent any water getting inside. This is the before shot of the engine before it has been degreased. It's a little dusty, I have seen worse. And more dust on the outside of the bay. Here I'm using Surfex HD again, um, diluted 1 to 10 or 10 to 1 but usually it should be 1 to 5 for a heavy greased engine but this isn't too bad so 10 to 1 is fine. I am spraying the bottom of the bonnet and agitating with a brush. quick little hose down to get the APC off all purpose cleaner aka built hamber surfex HD using a microfiber cloth I then wipe down the water to make sure it's nice and dry I'm using a slightly less diluted Surfex HD because I run out on my 10 to 1. Um, I have got more indoors but I had this out already so I thought I'd still use that. I'm now spraying the main engine and agitating it with the detailing brush to make sure I get all the dust bits and dirt out of the actual crevices of the engine. With a wheel woolly I then go in with it, spraying it with Surfex HD and getting down further into the engine bay where I couldn't reach with my detailing brush. And with the pressure washer I then rinse all the Surfex HD off the engine. Oh. 
and once again drying it off with a microfiber cloth. Onto the engine bay cover, I then basically do the same again by spraying Surfex HD onto it, agitate with a detailing brush and then rinse off with the pressure washer. then dry off with a microfiber cloth again. I'm so sorry for the close up. Um, I had the camera angle wrong and it only recorded the left side of my screen. So I've had to zoom in quite far and that's why it's distorted. But here I am spraying some Car Pro Pearl which is a dressing for plastics and rubber. And then I'm using a detailing brush to make sure I get in every part of the engine. And then I use a cloth again to wipe it all off. And this is what the engine looks like after it's been dressed. Now putting back on my air filter. Place him back on the engine cover. And this time I'm going around the rest of the engine with the Carpro Pearl and again using a detailing brush to agitate it and spreading it across evenly. And now a final wipe all around the plastics and rubbers. And the engine bay is now complete. Thanks for watching and as always stay safe.